What did you expect? And we're gonna gonna get kicked off with pop culture, which is always one of the most fun topics to talk about. And it's probably one of the biggest, well, what did you expect? What did you expect when a creative goes on a rant? That's right, we're gonna talk about our good old friend, Kanye West. Now, love him, hate him, what side of the fence you're on. I know that obviously he's 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 grown in in popularity in the in the Christian circles because of his uh, latest uh, album release or his previous album released now. Um, but Kanye is a hard man to pick. He's a hard man to to really go, do I like him? Don't I like him? And it's quite interesting that he had did this latest interview with uh, Tucker Carlson. He's also been in the news for some rants that he's done on, on social media, on Twitter. And also he did an interview with Lex Friedman where he had some, let's say, some questionable comments. Now... Kanye, one of the biggest things he's one one of the big things that he's being uh, you know challenged for lately is the fact that he went to a fashion parade and he wore a White Lives Matter shirt. Right, he made up this shirt in the same font and everything like that with a Black Lives Matter, and um, and he's copped a lot of lot of flack for being a black man for wearing this thing, saying White Lives Matter, saying that he's he's you know, abandoning his his race and and being a blasphemous almost to to the black community and and that he's getting all this flack from from this act and I want to address there's a couple of things within this interview that I that I kind of feel like we should address but just addressing this first and foremost I think that it's quite interesting that that while we don't want to get too political it's interesting that all what he's doing is he's highlighting almost the the hypocrisy in the fact that when people had Black Lives Matters t shirt, the 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 other side of the fence were going, oh yeah, but White Lives Matter too, and and and, and all lives matter, and, and that's it. But now that what now he's saying the White Lives Matter, it's this whole controversy on the other side of like, well, you're discrediting the Black Lives Matter and, and everything like that. So. Dr. Rod, what's your take on taking this controversial stand against something that is, I suppose, kind of a very obvious statement, right? It, it, the fact that, yes, all lives matter, especially as Christians, we believe that God created us all equally and we are all God's creation and we are all uh, sons and daughters of God of God and we should all respect and honor each other equally. What's your take on him making this quite controversial stand? Well, all I can say is if that's what God told him to do, good on him. Yes. <laughs> and um I, I've had this response on a couple of occasions in instances like this. There have been a couple of uh, well-known cases uh, in Australia as well. I think the bottom line is are, are you hearing from God mm. and, and obeying? And of course, um, you know, we can't always know for sure whether whether that's the case. But on the other hand, I think what we need to do also is to recognize that he is an artist. He's a yes. performing artist. Uh-huh. And um, so this is how he communicates. Yeah. And often performing artists use the technique of hyperbole or, or exaggeration, if you like. That's good. And so I think it's fair enough for us to take this as an exaggerated statement mm-hmm. made because he fundamentally does believe that there is, you know, a, a Christian principle. And it's the most fundamental Christian principle, actually, that says every human being is valuable. Mm. Every human being matters because every human being was created by and is loved by God. Yeah. Now, different people will have different ways of expressing that. I think we should be fairly careful about making judgments on other Christians in terms of, of how they interact. He has a, obviously a very large public profile, 
And so, you know, people like Tucker Carlson are going to interview him. <laughs> They're not going to interview me. Yep. Um, <laughs> not yet. And so, not yet. One day. But on the other hand, he needs to be wise in the way in which he approaches it. And I, and I think one of the things you're, you're alluding to is that, well, you know, you might hear from God, you might obey as well, but you also need wisdom. Yeah, that's good. And and obviously on our theme today is like, well, what did you expect? What do you expect when a creative <laughs> goes on a rant? And that kind of leads me into more on on his actual interview. You know, that th- there was some controversial things within that. But if you watch the interview and there's bits out there and there's bits that they've cut out and everything like that, but if you if you watch it, it it almost it almost seems like the rantings of a crazy man, and that's something that that they've that they've challenged him with, and everyone's everyone's having a go because he's obviously admitted to some mental challenges to bipolar and and all those sorts of things, and and they're everyone's like oh but but it's this rantings of a crazy man, no but if you actually look at it, he is a creative, he's an artist. He's not only is he a musician and a recording artist, not only is he a producer, he's also a fashion designer. And and all of these things actually show that he's not necessarily, he's not just a musician. And he's not just a fashion designer. He is a true artistic. You know, because some people are really good at a musician. Some people are really good at painting. Some are really good at fashion. But he's just this, this artist. And I don't know if you've ever known an artist, but they think very differently. Their perspective of, of things is... And, and you kind of, kind of see in this interview, you can, rather than seeing rantings of a crazy man, you go, well, what do you expect? He's an artist. He's, he's, he's an artistic person that's, that's kind of trying to put words to these thoughts and because he's probably got a million thoughts running through his mind every minute and you can see him kind of bouncing all over the place and giving three-part answers to to things and 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 it's and it's all all over the place but i think we need to look at it and go okay he's an artist and he's just trying to express what he's experiencing especially as a new Christian, as a ba- let's call him, a, as people say, a baby Christian, he's only recently come back to faith and kind of discovering what that all means. And he's actually spending a lot of time researching and, and studying the Bible, which is good on him. But he's kind of, he's thinking out loud. Hey, you've just watched an excerpt from the On The Cube Leadership Podcast. If you'd like to watch the full episode, click the link and hey, We would love it if you would consider subscribing to watch more faith-based leadership content.